Hey guys, C Squared here, and today I'm gonna be talking about how to be a fangirl. Now this, the difference between just being a fan of something and being an extreme fan, like a fangirl or fanboy, depending on your gender, cool with the better, whatever you <laughs> But besides just normal people are just like, hey, yeah, you know that TV show? That TV show is really cool. I really like that TV show. I want to watch it every week, and then I'm not going to think about it anytime else. And that's what normal people do. Whatever normal people are. Now, fangirls, or fanboys, depending on who you are, I've been over this. I'm going to say fangirls because I'm a fangirl. Do this. Oh my gosh, have you seen that TV show? This TV show is awesome. I'm going to watch it every week, and I'm going to obsess about it all the time. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to get the products. I'm going to get the everything. I'm going to buy all the things. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to tell them about it. I'm going to make gifts about it. I'm going to do everything possible I can possibly do 24-7 all the time. I'm going to be thinking about it forever. And that's me. Now, yes, there are different levels of fangirling and fanboying. And it's just... Most people consider it with fangirling because girls tend to chase more things than guys do in the sense of, hey, we like this. Hence why we have boy bands like One Direction and five seconds of summer or something or whatever and how they're popular because you know girls when they like something you're <laughs> we go crazy but that's pretty much how fangirls work we obsess over the tv show we think about the tv show we love the characters about it and ship them with people and what does shipping mean okay you have two people like sherlock and molly some people ship them together which is pretty much saying like oh these two people are perfect for each other we want them to be a couple or a thing hence the word shipping because you want them to get together and just yeah have fun <laughs> and some characters there's some characters you just don't belong together like Thor and Loki but yet some people still mash them together because you know what Thor and Loki and they're awesome. But there's so many different fandoms. There's the Whovian fandom, there's the Star Trek fandom, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, uh, <laughs> there's the book fandoms, there's the geek fandoms, there's the ballet fandoms. Pretty much everything, let's say like you obsessed over video games, then you are in the video game fandom. Pretty much anything you end up you can think about more than what the average person does. You're probably in the fandom with it. You're probably obsessed over this thing. And that's pretty much what fandom people do. We just chase after things that we love and enjoy. You're welcome. Subscribe if you like, like me and want to see more of me. Push the like button if you want me to make more videos like this and you enjoyed this video just a tiny little bit. If you like this TV TV because that would make me very, very happy. And comment down below what fandom you're crazy about and what you think makes a fangirl or a fanboy what they are. Until next time, guys. Bye.